Oh my. Hello, boys and girls. How are you today? Thanks for joining me today. Um, today, boys and girls, we studied, if you recall, in grade three, we studied about the introduction to our maths, right? And we talked about all the things that we're going to be studying in maths, remember? And then we did this really cute and short exercise where you had to either add one, subtract one, subtract 10, or add 10. We talked a little bit about the number line, and I asked you to work on one page for class time, and if you didn't finish, it was for homework. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go to Lady Marissa's PowerPoint, and I'm going to use my pen. You know, you know my pen, right? The pen that's really cool. So I'm gonna get out my pen. Ding, ding. And we are going to look at a PowerPoint to see if you guys can remember what we were supposed to do. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go, not reptiles. Let's go to a new PowerPoint. Okay, and let's go to a new slide. All right, can you see my screen? I hope so. Let's check, because I don't see you. Let me see here. Where are you, boys and girls? Whoops. Maybe you cannot see. Okay, so I'm going to think that you can see my screen. All right, so we're going to go to a PowerPoint. Okay. Whoops. Why did I do that? Okay. And I'm going to draw some boxes. This first one says, there's a one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. It's not exactly even, but that's okay. And one here, and one here. And one here. All right. So remember we talked about and we said if you go up in the line, you are going to minus 10. Okay. If you go down in the line, you're going to plus 10. If you're going to move this way, you're going to plus 1. And if you're going to move the other way, which we're probably not going to do on this one, you will minus one. Remember? Okay, so the number is 132. This, boys and girls, you are doing tens. So you're only going to be changing this number here. You're not going to be changing any other number, right? You're just changing the tens. So, if I have 132 and I'm going to plus 10, what will that be? Well, we know we're not going to change the 100 because we're just working with tens. What would the next number be? Did you guess four? You're right, it's four and then two, because we're just changing the tens. We're just changing this number right here in the tens. Okay, so if we know that, and we're gonna go down by 10, we know it's one, and what would it be? Did you guess five? Very good, you guys are so smart. Okay, so 152. All right, so now we're gonna go this way with our numbers. So that means we're going to add one. We're going to add one. So 152 would be what? I'm gonna change it to rainbows for this one. Whoops, what happened to my thing here? Let's see, there we go, rainbows. So 152, we know that this, now we're looking at what place? We're looking at the one's place only this time. 
We're going to add one. So this would be one, five, and what? Two plus one is? And if you said three, you are so smart. Okay, let's do the next one. One, five, three, one, five, what? Yes, four. And we have one more. One, five. What's that number going to be? Remember, we're looking at our ones. So we have two, three, four. What's this going to be? Did you guess five? Super job. So we have one, five, five. Now it's a little bit harder, but not too bad. Now you're going to go minus 10 up. So we're looking again here at our tens. Our tens again when we go up. But you're only minusing 10. So what is, if this is just the tens, what do you think it's going to be? We know it's one. And we're going to keep our five. What's this number going to be? Did you guess four? Yes, it's four. Look at, it's almost the same as 142. It's 145. Okay. All right, so what is this one going to be? We're going to keep the one and keep the five. What do you think goes there? We're just subtracting ten only. You guess three? You are right, it's three. So that's how we do this page. And this is page 12 in your new books. The books that look like these beautiful Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learner books. But the learner books need to come back to school. Okay, once you get your student book, you'll be able to keep that at home. Okay, so I hope, hope that helps today. That was what we did with this section, and this is what was for homework. But let's just recall it a bit. What you did, whoops, what did I do? What you did for today, we also talked about the number line. Do you remember we talked about the number line in your book on page 10? There's a number line here, right like that, yeah. Okay, and the number line was numbered 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oops, I didn't, I didn't make it long enough. I'm going to have to make it a little bit longer here. 100. We counted together. You guys had so much fun with that. And it said to you, mark 42. That was one number you were supposed to mark. And 87. That was the other mark you were supposed to mark. That's on page 10. This is page 10 in your math book. <coughs> okay, and so it says here, mark 42. Remember we said that the halfway between point of 10, uh, 40 and 50, the halfway between, this is about halfway between, we have about 45. So where would 42 be? If this is 45 and this is 40, where would 42 be? about. And so your friends, if you were not in school today, they said 42 would be right about there. And so that's what you do on page 10. So 87 is very easy then, right? If we know that between 80 and 90 is about 85, where would 87 be? 87 would be right about there. Okay? And so that's what you have to mark. That was page 10.
All right, so we did the first part page of page 10. We did the first part with the different hundred square pieces. All right, and that's just like this one here, but this one is on page 12. And so your friends, if you are not in school today, your friends were supposed to finish page 12 for homework if they didn't finish. Okay, that was what was assigned today. All right, so I hope whoever is staying home today is feeling better tomorrow because I missed you because I was sick, as you know, on Thursday and Sunday. But I was back today, and Diana, I think it was, she was absent today, and so we missed you, Diana. All right, so I hope you boys and girls have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. Okay, and we will see you tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, bye.